Welcome back. After going on hiatus for the spring quarter, I am so happy to be bringing you this late summer, early fall issue. The world has turned upside down since our last issue, and it seems like it was a lifetime ago. We have all experienced varying degrees of upset and challenges. There have been good days and bad days, days of baking and days of barely getting out of bed, reopenings and reclosings. The only thing we can be sure of is that the new normal keeps changing. And the magazine is changing with the times as well. This issue will be entirely digital. We plan to have a print version of the magazine in early November, but I have to say there are some nice advantages to going digital. We have added website links throughout the articles and ads to make it easy to click for more information. And as you can hear, we've even added audio recordings of some of the articles. As I worked on this project over the past couple months, my thoughts kept turning to what life must have been like for people during the early 1940s World War II on the home front. They were faced with food shortages and rationing, curfews and blackout orders, and the altogether real risk of losing friends and family members. Their lives were turned upside down as soon as Pearl Harbor was attacked and the United States entered the war in December 1941. For the next three years, people were forced to make many sacrifices without really knowing when it would all end. While history books go into great detail about the battles and the strategies of the war, I find the stories of the people who remained at home interesting. In many cases, they were as brave and altruistic as the soldiers on the battlefield. But there were no medals given to women working double shifts at the shipyard or children who conducted scrap metal drives and planted victory gardens. The way that communities pulled together to help the war effort was incredible. I think there are many lessons we can learn from that era and how people worked together to stay safe and well during such a major upheaval. My heart goes out to all the people working on the front lines of healthcare and food production and distribution right now. This issue is dedicated to everyone who has persevered during these difficult times. We are all in this together, and I hope you get some inspiration and enjoyment from reading this special issue. And special thanks to our advertisers and supporters in this issue, American Riviera Bank, Marjoram and Barden Wines, Cottage Rehabilitation Hospital Foundation, Winfield Farm Mangalitza, and Plow to Porch Organics. Thank you.